Hello Disney friends, Disney 100 continues. I just got in this pack, Disney 100 minifigures. I'm filming this real quick before my roommate comes back from class because that would be awkward. 18 to collect six in here. It is 9 p.m. and it's a Monday, so just bear with me. I'm wrapping up this quarter of school. I got my Disneyland trip on my mind. There's so much going on. First thing we always want to do is take a look at the packaging for the Disney 100 mini figs. These I know have been very, very popular over on TikTok, so I'm happy to have got my hand on at least a few of them. Of course, we got Lego mini figures, 18 to collect. You can see a bunch of the characters available here, but we'll take a look here at the checklist in just a moment for ages 5 plus. Beautiful Disney 100 logo all over it. Also, you are on the most unstable tripod thing I've ever pieced together. It's like two pillows, my laptop, a stationary thing, and then my camera case. And it looks like our first character, hello, Cruella DeVille. Okay, so quick look, whoa, whoa, quick look at the checklist. Definitely gonna have to hang on to one of these, but these are look at all the characters you can get. On, oh, oh. <gasps> Ooh, do you have a, an adorable Disney 100 stand, like, base, which I love that. I almost wish all of the series had on it, like, what series it was from. I think that's kind of cool. So, oh gosh, I keep dropping things. We're going to piece this together. My very nifty little table right here. Okay, I'm trying to <laughs> should I pull everything. Oh my gosh, her hair is sideways. All right, so here we have our first character, Corella Deville, looking pretty fancy. She's got her like fur coat on as well. Of course, we got the two different tones of hair, nice big earrings as well. Pretty standard outfit for her though. Again, we have that beautiful base, the red gloves, and then of course she also comes with a Dalmatian, which can yes fit on the base as well and then she has these little like accessories that she can also hold pretty cute pretty iconic character as well for the hundredth i think i am gonna try to get the full set of these just because it's such like an iconic collectible again for the hundredth so i'm excited again to mix these in my display and if you missed my 100 display or if you missed my um last haul video i got a lot of Disney 100 stuff that you may want to check out. <gasps> Is this the Lucky Rabbit Mr. Oswald? <gasps> Look at him. I love his little smiley face. Of course, he's got the little ear sticking up, so that's a special mold uh, for the head there. Iconic blue shorts with the little tail out the back as well love that base and then he's holding this little uh like one of the little like clapper things <laughs> for film um and it says oswald oh gosh i apologize okay oswald act two take one pretty pretty fancy happy to see some oswald merch definitely gonna look for it in disneyland uh, whenever I go very soon, be sure to subscribe if you can. All right, on to our next little friend. Now, this is the same coat on the back as Cruella, but it's a different character. Okay, so that just confirmed that. Yeah, so Mr. Robin Hood here came with an extra tail and two extra little feather um, headpieces for the hat, which, I mean, that's pretty nice because those little things can easily fall off and get lost. Quick look here at Robin Hood. Once again, that beautiful base. It is a little bit reflective too, a little shiny silver. Forgot to mention, he's in his classic outfit as well. The green, the yellow hat, the little red feather there at the top. He also has his bow and arrow, which is a nice little touch. I like how they all have little accessories as well. I think that's pretty cute because then they can't hold them, they can't hold them. So you can display them however you'd like. You know, I was about to say three for three, but maybe I don't want to say that. And maybe I just said that. So <laughs> we shall see. I feel like I do that every time. Hello? Ooh, okay. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Miguel, which I feel like Coco... Oh my gosh. I feel like... Oh, ooh. I feel like Coco doesn't have a lot of merch, so I appreciate that. I think this is really, really good. It is so nice of them to give me options, but now I don't know... Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to, like, account for that in this video. Um, I don't know which one to choose. They gave me options here. So you can either do his hood, his red little hood, with his face, or you can do the face that's been painted with the hair or vice versa. However you want to do it. Um, they gave you a bunch of options. So there's the two different heads and two different head pieces. Um, he is wearing the little red, like, jacket. Which I actually did this for Halloween one year. So maybe I will do what I did then. So I'll put on his little face here. With the paint. And then his little hood. That's what he does in the movie. And then... He also has a guitar accessory. You can hold his guitar. That's probably the easiest one of these characters has held this. And then you get Dante as well. I feel like this is a pretty good deal here. Lots of pieces for this one. And Dante has his tongue sticking out, which is pretty amazing. Pretty fun. I love I love it. Um, let's put him on his Disney 100 little bass. The guitar is basically as tall as him, so that's... He's got to hold it up in the air. And then can, Dante does not have the base to attach to this, but you can leave room that when you put it up on a shelf that they can still stand next to each other, but he just won't be clipped to said base. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. Got some really great characters. I'm honestly, I'm happy with all the characters they chose for this. There's so many more characters like I'd love for them to make, but I know there's so many Disney characters that it's hard to, but very, very cute. Oh my god gosh mr ernesto de la cruz right there smiling so cute i love the little sombrero as well um really really nice silvery details matches with the hunter stuff very very well but something super interesting is this little hat here is actually attached to the hair piece so that's kind of interesting and then also all the characters so far have had except for oswald have had um faces on both sides so you can pick their facial expression which I think they should do that more often because I, I like, I mean, especially if you're playing with Lego or depending on what display you're doing, it's a really cool thing. He also has super reflective, again, little bow there just to match his, his guitar and his whole vibe going on. This is the iconic guitar as well with the special painting features. I'm happy that I got one of the little pairs. And just like that, we're already on our last one. Although, LEGO has announced so many other new sets, so I have the Disney 100 train waiting for me back at home. I felt so bad I forgot his name at the beginning, but this is Prince John. And another one with a bunch of tiny little pieces, too. There he is. Very similar to Corella, it has the back felt piece, um, too, to perfectly match. The rest of the coats, very similar style they both have. All the crown is also attached to the special molded headpiece. Pretty fine details on all of these. And I like how like the minifigs actually like, range in height depending on what the character size is. And then this one also comes with a little bag and a couple mini gold coins with matching little crowns on them that he could also hold or I could clip to the base there. Thank you all so much for tuning in for a random little Lego unboxing. Let me know if you've grabbed any of the Lego Disney 100 minifigs. If it, have you been able to find them? Um, I know they're kind of hard to come by right now, but hopefully picking up the rest of the set maybe as we go. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy, and I will see you all next time. Bye!